From our technical assistance to maritime security forces and support to the Caribbean Basin Security Initiative, to relief missions for countries afflicted by disasters, we stand shoulder to shoulder with you in working for the region's peace and stability. Now this week, I have listened attentively to the remarkably consistent views and ideas shared on how best to strengthen our cooperation and how to achieve the short and long-term security and defense objectives for which we have all worked closely to develop. This collaboration has already yielded successes in mitigating potential threats stemming from natural disasters, like this region's response to Tropical Storm Erica. We are also seeing shared progress confronting the shared threat of transnational organized crime. Future successes will require a continuation of our united approach, focused on building key capabilities, sharing information effectively, and sharing more information across the board. With better information sharing comes the opportunity for improving the effectiveness of our collaborative activities. Now, we begin the work of turning those ideas raised during this week at CANSEC into tangible outcomes that will move us much closer to those security and defense goals that we seek to achieve together. Again, I would like to thank the Jamaican Defense Forces under General Anderson's command for the professional way that you have hosted this conference. And I would like to thank the Jamaican people for your warm hospitality and for welcoming us all to your beautiful country. Transex 14 demonstrates the recognition by all stakeholders in the Caribbean Basin that regional security affects us all and is likely to be better served and strengthened through strong partnerships, mutual support, and shared resources. Jamaica remains strongly committed to continuing this collaboration to enhance national and regional security. Thank you very much.